So what we're doing today is a prototype. What we have here is called a statapult. How many of you know what a catapult is? Catapult is a much larger version of this. But a statapult is um, a device to collect statistical data, which is what we're going to do today. You're gonna put a ball on the cup. You're gonna hold it from the back side. You're gonna pull it back to certain angles that we'll talk about in a little bit. And then you'll let it go and watch the ball launch. And so this particular activity is um, set up so that you can see how changes in how you configure the statapult change how accurate and how repeatable the process is. So the whole point of this is to understand the concept of standard deviation and how you can make decisions to adjust the actual contraption here to get it more closely at the same spot every time. We're focusing on problem solving, decision making, innovation and creativity. And really what we're trying to do is they're, the kids are having to collect a whole lot of data and then we want them to use that data to help drive decisions. And so we're using qualitative data to help make do decisions. And so they're not just making decisions based on gut feel or what they think. They're actually using data to help make decisions. And we're also kind of weaving in through the science part, trajectory, geometry, um, physics, and through math, standard deviation. We'll primarily rate the honors here to encourage um, uh, students to uh, pick a career or even just expose them to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics as a career choice for them. Over the last several decades, we've seen in the United States that uh, science, technology, and engineering and mathematics graduates, um, the numbers have been falling. And this is Raytheon's uh, program to help turn that tide to get students more interested in the STEM programs. In the United States, the number of students coming out of college that could do the high technology jobs is reducing below the level of the number of jobs or number of career paths that are available to them. And so in order to maintain uh, the industry in the United States, et cetera, we need to get more students coming out of college that can do those types of jobs. We decided to try to make an impact on the future engineers that are um, any scientists or technologists that come into the field once they graduate high school. So what we wanted to do was not only provide students with a way to have a hands-on project-based learning activities, but also we're weaving in leadership skill activities so we try to talk about innovation and problem solving, diversity, critical thinking, decision making and so on. And we try to use those skills to help um, not only teach the kids what those skills mean, but also demonstrate them and have them experience them by having to work in teams and work together. I've learned that you know, communication and teamwork is extremely vital in a, in a work environment in which you'd have to develop a product or something along those lines because if you don't work as a team then you're not going to get very much done very quickly and it's not going to be very productive. We yeah, really appreciate the volunteers that come every, um, every year because they, they really do devote a lot of time and energy to this and the students really respond to that. So the students have a better time and they actually do learn something along the way. Hey!